Hola, soy Yolida de Medellín y estás viendo las 411 de Bar, el mejor canal de bolseo. Dale me gusta y suscríbete. Y me puedes encontrar en Instagram como Yoli1026 Sánchez. Bye. Hey, yo, this is Wolf from Last Ones at the Bar. Check it in real quick after one of the top prospects in boxing, Xander Zayas. He just defeated an opponent that was probably the most stiffest test that he has faced so far in his early pro career, um, Elias, uh, I want to say Spados, who came into the ring with a 22-4 with 15 KO record. Not only did he have like the most victories, most knockouts, but also he had never been knocked out before. What I was impressed with was Xander is how he just came out so rapidly, you know, ready for the smoke. You know, a lot of times when people come out and they, when boxers come out and they, they fight, it's like a filling out process. It was no filling out process by Xander or Elias. Like they just went straight to it. And um, that's interesting, man. He's such a fast starter. And he's young, man. Like he's 19 years old. And he showcased some high level stuff when it comes to the offense. Like he's really, you know, talented offensively at his young age. So there's certain things that he can do right now that's just innate, you know, it's just certain gifts that he has and certain things that he can do that you know, they're high level, man, you know. And so I'm impressed with the kid. It's just certain things he's gonna have to work on, certain things that he's gonna go through, but it looked like he's one of the type of guys that wants to get better, that wants to see where he can take his career. And Puerto Rico, man, I don't know what it is in the water over there, but, you know, from time to time, they come up with these guys like Miguel Cotto, Rafael Gomez, you know, Tito Trinidad, you know what I'm saying? And he's one of those guys that has the potential to be up there with those elite level um, legends, you know what I mean? And I would say icons, you know, when it comes to some of those guys. But, you know, sky's the limit. He ended up, it was kind of like, um, I wouldn't say close, but... I, it was competitive, like the first couple of rounds. I think he dropped uh, Elias uh, Espada in the first round. And after that, like the second round, third round, it was relatively close. He was getting the better of the action. But once you got to like the fourth round, then it just, it was a separation in talent. Um, and then he got the KO in the fifth round, which, you know, it's a little early, but premature, but at the same time, I can see where the referee was thinking because uh, Espadas was taking a lot of punishment. But at the same time, when he got dropped, he was clear-eyed, he got up, and, you know, he could have kept going. You know, I don't, you know. But at the end of the day, this kid showed a lot. I'm looking forward to see what the future holds for Xander Zayas. You know, he's a bundle of energy. And he's somebody who looked like he wants all the smoke. Uh, let me know what you think about the kid. I think the sky's limit because you got also Charlo, who's going to be taking care of the business that he needs to take care of with the kid from Australia, maybe a Danny Garcia or whatever it is that he wants to do on the tail end of his reign as the WBC, IBF, WBO. He has all the belts. So whatever it is he wants to do, He's on his way out. I don't see him sticking around for somebody like this who's 19 years of age. But once his reign is over with, and then once this kid like gets all of the you know experience that he needs and you know he goes through some of these trial horses and things like that, I can see him being a long reigning champion at 154 if he can stay at the weight division. Um but also the fact that he's 19, who knows? You know, how his body's gonna fill out, and he may be a long running 160 pound champion, you know, there as well. Um, but I think it's just on him, you know, how much he wants to grow and how much he dedicates himself to the sport. But I was very impressed with Xander Zayas, you know. Future look, looks bright for the kid, and I just hope that he puts his effort, you know, into maximizing the potential that he has. On that note, I'm out. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace.